What is going on guys, Brown here, welcome back to the F1 My Team career mode here today for part 27 for the Dutch Grand Prix. In the background you will see the grid for today's race. You would have noticed that we're also on the intermediate tyres, that's because it has rained, it's raining at the start of this race. Not too bad though, it is expected to dry up, but how quickly it does is... A mystery you see that we're starting p16 behind lando norris so i think we need a good start um i feel like we've been good at the starts this weekend and um, this season but enough of the rambling let's get into the action so is the five red lights come on and we're going some voice hamilton v george off the line and it looks like George may have lost out a bit, but we've got a good start. Everyone so gingerly away into the Tarzan corner at turn one. This is a great camera angle, but not for commentator. We can't have a, don't have a clue what's going on. Verstappen's got ahead of George. Then it's the two Ferraris, and up in front of us is Perez and Albon going side by side, and we're going to sail round the outside of both McLarens. What a move that was, if I do say so myself. That was unbelievable. And now we can get after hopefully Perez and Alex Albon. Because Perez is holding up Albon quite a fair bit. Um, and we have a bit of pace on these intermediate tyres. We're just about staying with. You can see there we've actually gained eight positions at the start. We're just about staying with Perez and Albon. Because Perez making the move to... Renault, because in real life he's gone to Red Bull replacing Albon, but on lap 7 the track has dried so it really wasn't raining for that long, you can see though just how hot those rear tyres are, we're going to go on to the set of the soft tyres because they're more needed in wet, in colder conditions of course when the, when the track's still a bit damp the soft tyres really do come into their own go on anything harder than mediums or the hard you'll just spin up because they they the operating windows for them just doesn't suit these conditions so you'd be skidding all over the place but compared to Albon and Perez we've found a bit of pace on these soft tyres as they go side by side Albon locks up now Albon trying to get past Sergio Perez he tries to go to the outside, we try to go around the outside of Albon, but he blocks us off this time though, down the inside, we get Alex Albon, past the Red Bull, and now we actually feel competitive for once, and now Albon might lose out to the McLaren, I think it's Carlos Sainz, trying to go around the outside, could he quite had to back out of that in the McLaren, followed by Kvyat, but skipping on a few laps and Albon started to find his pace we couldn't gain on Perez, the gap was staying the same and Albon really overtakes us makes another lock up into that chicane and our kind of couple of laps of glory are, are over of being in front of a Red Bull in our car that is slowly slowly improving but skipping all, all on the way, all the way on to lap 19 and you'll see here Jeff wants us to pit at the end of this lap to go into the mediums but I want to go into those at the soft so we're going to extend our stint as Kvyat pits we are racing Kvyat, he goes on to the mediums and we're battling Kvyat in this race so it's kind of crucial that we get our head down right now try and to keep the gaps so we can beat Kvyat out potentially Kvyat has lost out to the McLaren as well skipping on though on to lap 23 some four laps later and we come into the pits to make our second and final stop of the Grand Prix as we turn into our pit box we're going on another set of the soft so we should in theory be quicker on the tyres but you can see the sun is out and if you told someone that it was raining at the start of this race don't think they'd believe you look at it, it's clear skies now the odd cloud and now we've lost out to Kvyat but 
and we didn't have the pace and now we're left defending behind we are fighting over a single point because we missed out last year in Zanvoort round the outside we defend us of Anokon and Ocon now has Lewis Hamilton behind him Lewis Hamilton having a, a horrendous qualifying and was put down at the back of the field and He's left trying to fight his way back through. He's right on the back of Esau and Ocon now. Is he close enough? He's going to think about the outside. But he's just a little bit too far back to do anything there. One lap later though and Hamilton is close enough. He's going to go to the inside. We managed to pull a small gap down the inside. Lewis Hamilton goes and he's past Esther Van Ocon in the Dutch Grand Prix and now Lewis Hamilton is after us after our P10 and hopefully we can hang on but compared to that Mercedes our car is literally a boat on wheels Jeff wants us to pit again we're not pitting again there's five laps to go we're just going to try and hang on but on to lap 33 we make a mistake we're in P10 Lewis Hamilton is all over the back of us. We make a little mistake and Lewis Hamilton goes up our inside. We try to defend round the outside but we just don't have the grip. And yet again in Zambo we've been denied of a point and we made a massive mistake there again. Nearly losing the back end. It was a great save. And for the second season in a row, we try to go a bit more aggressive. Lewis Hamilton, though, just too quick. I was saying earlier, our car is a literal boat compared to that Mercedes. But we've been denied of a point again in Zambo. Hopefully, it will come. This is a replay of what happened. You can see, we touched a gravel, and that was. It looked a lot more dramatic off the offboard cameras than it did on the onboard and now we're defending the racing points of Lance Stroll but we go a little bit wide and the racing point is past as we're going to defend around the outside and we keep that P11 just in really having to get the elbows out in this race just to hold on for P11 hopefully someone drops out in front of us as we come into the closing stage, but Valtteri Bottas wins from Max Verstappen, from George Russell. Lando Norris finishes in front of us. There is Sebastian Vettel. And in a couple of corners time, you will see us. The Ferrari is not having a good weekend. There is Sergio Perez and Alex Albon, who of course we were battling at the start of the race in hindsight we should have gone on to the mediums as they both crossed the line there is the McLaren coming through just behind him Daniel Kavir who we lost out to Lewis Hamilton coming home for the final point and we have fended off the racing point and we are going to come home for two seasons in a row at P11 in Zandvoort. Many doubted whether they could pull off the win here in Zandvoort, but they have done, and done it in spectacular style. What do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalise on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. So that's been your Dutch Grand Prix for the second time in this series. Valtteri Bottas is your winner, 
from Max Verstappen and George Russell. Hopefully that win will come one day for him. In two retirements in the race, Daniel Ricciardo and Nicholas Latifi. Daniel Ricciardo, the big one, Nicholas Latifi. Doesn't really affect anything, he would have finished last anyway. Um, but we're still yet to score. It's still one of three teams. Hopefully that will come next time out in Spain. We've gained a little bit on Daniel Ricciardo, but... Spain, next time out, we're going to be looking for some good points. We, we did score our first F1 points there last year. Um, and Spain always been quite a happy hunting ground for us on the F1 games, especially on F1 2019. Then we go to Monaco. Of course, if we can get a good position in Monaco, we really can get the elbows out. But you can see there the sponsors. We're going to be doing another error upgrade on the R&D. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you in Spain. Goodbye.